everybody rip everybody else off. Think you ought to know this. Oh, it's that copper thing that I hate, but we got to do what we got to do to survive. And then you need a movie review. Hey, how's it going? YouTube friends. It's me, your one fuzzy boy. Never back at you again in the almost over worldwide ick with the world gone crazy, which there's nothing we can do about that. But you need distractions, so my show is here for you. Yes, it is the only show with lemon scented limes, lest I forget, and the only show with a supernatural, super awesome third eye. I mean, why are we still telling this joke? But if you did laugh, then thank you. It's Wednesday again. I got to thank you all for being my YouTube friends once again. Thank you for coming and finding me. Thank you for trying to click that subscribe button and that little bell icon because sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But you didn't come here to listen to me talk about that. You come here for a movie review. So let's get that started, shall we? Today's movie is The Secret Magic Control Agency. If you thought that was a mouthful, uh, wait till I read all the stuff on this thing. It is a TV Y7, which I have no idea what that means because I don't do TV, but this is a movie. It was on Netflix. <laughs> it was presented to me. It's an hour and 43 minutes of animated adventure comedy that came out the 25th of March. And you're asking me, why am I going back? But, you know, this week was kind of lackluster. And Mortal Kombat is still several weeks away. Alan Tursisky does this. He's a Russian director. And I looked up some of his stuff. And he does look like he's copying the same Disney movie that he's become enthralled with over and over and over again. Cast, uh, we got Erica, Erica Schroeder as Ivera. Or Evira, which I would have thought it would be funny just to call her Elvira. We got Mary O'Brady as Baba Yaga. Yes, we're ripping off Grimm's Fairy Tales again. Georgette Reilly as Agent Stepmother. Tom Wayland as the pe person who people mistakenly identify me as. <laughs> uh, Nicholas Cordoa as Hansel. And Johanna El Elmia Moise as Agent Stepdaughter. Courtney Shaw is Gretel. And those are the names you need to know to get through this movie. Uh, our production companies were CTB Film Company, WED International, Wizard Animation. Our distributor here in the good old United States of America. God bless America. Land that I love was Netflix and Sony Pictures who did the theatrical release. There's not much else to read on this because it's a low-budget film with a low-budget setup. And I think we can just understand where I'm going here. My thoughts on the film. Very digitally broad, bog-stock animation. It's nothing too special. The characters are wizard sort of stock characters. They're very, very little difference everybody's clothes look like they've been ironed on perfectly through some sort of steam magic that I'm not aware of. And the face cast is good, but it just doesn't have that um, kick to it. And the director, well, he's been ripping off that same uh, movie from Disney. You know, the one, let it go. Okay, and I'm not going to go any further into that, but he's been making that for the past few years now, and I like it, but it's just, why are we ripping off Grimm's Fairy Tales? Can't we, you know, Dungeons and Dragons this up and give people new names and new faces and new ideas? It's just, 
nothing new has happened here. And I went into this because it had good ratings, but the reason why it has good ratings is because like five people have reviewed this. <laughs> I'm serious. There's like two reviews on Rotten Tomatoes and there's like three on um, IMDb. And that's why it's a 6.3 out of 10 and a 93% audio score with zero tomato meter. There's like three critics who have watched this. And I can see why Netflix didn't, wasn't hyping this. I mean, I saw zero trailers for this before going into it. And I was just going, oh, the secret magic control agency. It looks fancy in the posters. It's bog stock, man. It's so frustrating. It's like, I don't want characters to be named Hansel and Gretel anymore. Don't rip off Grimm's fairy tales. Make your own characters. Set up. You have a great setup here with a great plot, with a great world building, and you rip off Grimm's fairy tales to name your characters. I don't know what to do about this. I'm not saying it's a boring film, but for an hour and 40 minutes, you want more, especially from Netflix, as you're paying for a premium service here. And I've had my ups and downs with Netflix. Some things have been very good, and other things have been this. <laughs> I want to say more, but, you know, I don't want to spoil it. If you're interested, go check it out. I say it's a decent watch, but not much. I do want to see what CinemaSins thinks. I really do. I feel like CinemaSins needs to see this and needs to set it on fire. <laughs> fire to destroy all that you've done. Because this is what you need. It's just, it feels very rip off. And I don't like that. You know, um, don't dumb things down for kids, which they didn't do here, but they just remade stories with new char with the same old characters. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what else to say on this. It's just one of those films that's going to be, you know, forgotten about in 30 minutes after I stop doing the editing on this video. And someone's going to, you know, four years down the line, hit me up with a comment and say, hey, you review this. And, and I'm like, no. I still didn't like it. I don't like it now, and I'm not going to like it then. It does have a good payoff, at least story-wise, and it's enjoyable for what it is. And I guess this is all we can really ask for. You know, Worldwide Ick is still sort of in effect in some places. And I'm guessing that when we finally get everybody, you know, taken care of, Maybe things will get back to normal and I'll have decent movies to review. But until then, uh, this is about as much justice as I'm going to give this film. So with all that said, if you like what you see in here, make sure you hit that like button. Likes and views are how YouTube works now. It's not the way I like it. It's just the way it is. And remember, all comments are 100% guaranteed response. I love your comments, especially this week. It's been ridiculous. I'll cover that in the post roll. And you know I have to ask. I have an Amazon. I have a Patreon. It's not without your support that keeps this channel afloat. Thank you for your donations so far. They have moved me deeply. And thank you for supporting my American dream. And with all that said, for a final time, if you want to see more of this nonsense, make sure you click that subscribe button and that little bell icon. Ring a ding ding. And I will see you all in the next movie review. Bye. Ah, uh, post roll. Yay. Ah, uh, this was trash. It's uh, direct to DVD stuff that came out in the 90s kind of stuff. Late 2000s, early 90s. <laughs> Uh, as for your questions, no, I did not use my butt. Um, I used my elbow. Can I still do it? Yes, but not as good because I don't skip arm day. And that's about the stuff that was in the Jacksepticeye thing. I'm answering questions from older videos here. So if you don't know what's going on, uh, I Twitter Jacksepticeye on April the 1st with a couple of videos that blew up and went viral. Thank you for sharing me everywhere if you're new to the channel. Uh, I don't know what else to say. It's exciting when you go viral 
every now and again you get those big boosts of numbers. I just wish that translated to the new videos and not just the old videos. Uh, but I digress and there's not much else to say. Thank you for coming and seeing me and thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. I love you. I'll see you next week. Bye.